Hey everyone, it's Trisha Grace. Yep, can you believe that the lady sitting on the couch was me? If you like this video and want to see more like it, please subscribe to my channel, put a like in the comment section, and hit that notifications bell. Now on with the video. Hey you all, it is Trisha Grace. I'm down on the ground today because I want to show you all some awesome positions that are perfect for getting into your cellulite and sore muscles. Because believe it or not, trying different uh, positions while you are cupping gets into your fascia and sore muscles differently in different ways and you can feel it differently. And by the way, I'm using my Trisha Grace warm-up cup to uh, do this demonstration today. And you know what, I'm gonna put a little bit more oil on. I'm using coconut oil. This really helps to keep the cups gliding and sliding around. And believe it or not, like I said earlier, getting on the ground uh, is a great way to get in to certain areas of your thigh. I, a lot of times I'll show y'all with me standing up with my leg on a table or just standing up, you know, balancing on one leg. But this is also one of the many ways, and I love to stretch the leg out by the way also. This is one of the many ways that you can really get in to uh, releasing your muscles, releasing your muscles to releasing that fascia, which can get knotted up and can make your cellulite look worse. So getting on the ground like this, and let me tell you, it is a workout. This, even just being on the ground, you will feel the cups getting in there differently. So I'm gonna switch to my pro cup here and put a little bit more oil on. More coconut oil. Look at this. My tummy is making some noises. Ah, uh, look at that. I can feel it way different just sitting here. And then, you know what? Ooh. I, I can really feel it work. And let me move up here. And you know what, actually before I move up, I'm gonna show you all this cut behind the leg. And even if you put your leg, I have a little table here that my dad actually made me. If you prop your leg up like this, on something like this, it also will help uh, you to cup into those different areas. You'll feel it working those muscles and ironing out that fascia differently. There's just all different techniques you can use. Okay, I have my leg back up on the table. This is one of the ways I think y'all have seen me showing you how to cut my legs. It is going to get in there way differently than sitting on the floor. Today, I can feel it even better than if I were to just stand here and do it like this. Okay, and we're kind of showing y'all, I am showing y'all on the back of my thigh here, but whoa. Look at that. It is really stretching out this muscle more. So stretching and cupping at the same time, let me tell you, I can totally feel that. It is, it's actually pretty sore. So if this is a little too intense for you, you can just put your leg down and I'll show you with my leg down. You can just put it down and cup it like this and that'll be less intense. It's more like actually in here is where I'm pretty sore today. Kind of like in my uh, inner 
thigh groin, groin area that's pretty sore. So if I put it back up on the table, woo, do I feel it differently, especially stretching out like this again, like I showed you earlier, woo. Y'all just love my little uh, um, professional videos sometimes. This is definitely not a tutorial, just me showing y'all some different little techniques. I love to do this whenever I can for y'all. I'm gonna do my right leg and show you. This one, my right leg is not as sore propping it up like this. Now if I get on the ground, let's see, sorry for the noise, <laughs> and go on like this, it is still not so sore. This leg is doing better than my left leg. But again, down on the ground and stretching your leg out like this is pretty cool. Some of y'all might feel it more than um, just standing up. I need some more oil. Okay. If y'all would like to know how to do my full cupping tutorial, um, I will put that in the description of this video. I'll put my full cupping the thigh tutorial there. And what was I gonna say? Ooh, I'm out of breath today. I'm kinda tired. It's Monday today, the day that I'm filming this. So I'm kinda tired. I can feel that in my hamstring. And if you all would like to find out how often to cup, just hang on a little bit longer and I will show you. I can really feel this in here. Boy, stretching the leg out like this is a pretty good technique to use. Just pick up, squeeze it place it on your skin and then you are ready to go. That will provide suction onto the skin for you to be able to move the cup around. And if it hurts too much at first to move the cup around, you can always just pop cup it by squeezing it, placing it on your skin, popping it off. Squeezing it, placing it on your skin, popping it off. Okay, just in case I left out any do's and don'ts about cupping, make sure and check out my Trisha Grace Cupping and Blasting Guide. And the cool thing is, it comes with my Trisha Grace Cupping System. If you'd like to purchase my Trisha Grace Cupping System, I'll put the links in the description below. And look at the box that they come in. <laughs> look at this. And don't forget to work out. What are you doing? I'm mailing Trisha Grace's cups. Hey everyone, it's Trisha Hudson and Max here. And yep, you're seeing a little bit of behind the scenes of making one of my videos. And you know what? We are here to ask you all to please, can you subscribe to my channel? There's going to be a little bikini picture that pops up on the left. Just tap on that. As soon as it pops up, it should pop up here in a second just there on the left and when it does tap on it subscribe to my channel and also please make sure to comment because we love getting your comments thanks so much we love y'all bye